welcome to Softree. I'm Erin, and in this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to move around the plan window. When selecting features with a mouse, you can click a feature with the selection cursor, and several things are going to happen. First of all, it becomes the current feature, and is highlighted by changing color to magenta. The nearest point where you clicked becomes the current point, and is indicated with a red cross. The status window shows information about the new, current point, and feature, if applicable. Finally, the status bar shows the current feature name. Okay, here we are in our plan window, and you can see when you click a feature with our selection cursor, it changes to magenta. The nearest point where we clicked is highlighted by the red cross. We can use our next and previous point buttons over here on the left, to move along our selected feature. As we move along through these points, you can see our status window here on the right hand side is being updated to reflect the information for the current visible point. Holding the left mouse button and drawing a rectangle allows us to select multiple features at once. Alternatively, holding the shift key, you can select or deselect individual features. The Zoom Tools toolbar allows you to zoom in, zoom out, zoom to window, end zoom, zoom extents, and pan respectively. The function of these tools is mostly self-evident, with a little experimentation. Changing scales adjust the size of map features. Labels, line types, and symbols are not adjusted and remain the same size. When creating a drawing, set the scale to the required output scale before making adjustments to the label positions. Finally, zooming functions magnify or shrink the entire drawing, including labels, symbols, and line types, when the lock scale button is depressed. When it is not depressed, the scale will change, but the labels, symbols, and line types will stay the same size. We have a couple options for our zooming and panning within our plan window. First, we've got our Zoom Tools toolbar. We also have our mouse, and with that, the middle roller mouse button is dedicated to zoom and pan functions. Here, we're going to click and drag with the middle mouse button. Note that our mouse cursor changes into the pan hand, and the plan image moves with our mouse. When we move our middle mouse button away from us, this zooms in, keeping the point of interest below our mouse cursor centered in the frame. This is quite different from using the Zoom Plus 200 button on our Zoom Tools toolbar, which always keeps the center of the screen in the same place. Okay, now let's try changing our scale. You'll notice, when we change our scale, and then zoom in afterwards without having that lock scale button depressed, our scale is actually going to adjust. Trying it again with the lock button pressed, you'll notice that our text, symbols, and lines are going to appear magnified or shrunk as we zoom in and out of the image. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks again for joining us.